Hi guys, I'm Arpit, your digital marketing consultant and trainer. I offer courses in marketing and tech space. Check them out in the video description. Today we'll talk about Facebook marketing automation. This is probably the best Facebook growth hack working really well for some of my clients. So I thought I'll share it with you guys. So the hack is to scrape relevant Facebook groups and then send the members an automated message sequence. To execute this hack on scale, you need multiple Facebook accounts. I recommend at least having three Facebook accounts, but more the merrier. Each Facebook account needs a dedicated residential proxy so you don't raise any suspicions. And finally, you need a Phantom Buster account to set up the automation. Let me show you how. The first step is to set up your proxies with Phantom Buster. I recommend using Smart Proxy as they are affordable and reliable. Head over to smartproxy.com, sign in or sign up for a new account. Under residential proxies, check on the authentication method. Enter the username and the password, then click on create. Our proxy for the first Facebook account is created. Similarly, I'll create the other two proxies that we'll use with the other two Facebook accounts. Now click on the endpoint generator, put in the username and the password we just created for our first proxy. Choose the proxy location, like I'll select USA. Under session type, select sticky and increase the session duration to 30 minutes. Then under the proxy list, you'll see the endpoints have been generated. Similarly, generate the endpoints for the other two proxies. Now that we've set up our proxies, let's configure them with Phantom Buster. Once you've logged in into your account from the top right, click on settings icon and then select proxies. Click on add new proxy pool. Let's name this as FP proxy one. Paste the server address followed by the port number. Head back to the endpoint generator in your smart proxy dashboard. Under the proxy list, copy the server address followed by the port number. Paste it under the address field in your Phantom Buster account. Now for the username, again head back to the endpoint generator. Under the proxy list, copy the username which is between the port number and the password. In this case, it is user-fpproxy1-session duration-30. Paste it under the username field in your Phantom Buster account. Then type in the password you created for the first proxy from the authentication method. Similarly, add the other two proxies. Now that we've configured our proxies with Phantom Buster, let's look at how to scrape members from Facebook groups. Hover on Phantoms from the top menu and click on All Categories. Then click on Facebook and right on the top you'll see Facebook Group Extractor. Click on Use this Phantom. Click on Connect to Facebook and make sure you're logged in into your first Facebook account in the browser and you have the Phantom Buster Chrome extension installed. After it fetches your Facebook session cookies, Click on save, tell the phantom which Facebook group you would like to scrape. You can either enter a single Facebook group URL or give the URL a Google Sheet containing a list of Facebook group URLs. The best part is you can scrape both a private or a public Facebook group and it doesn't matter if you've joined it or not. For this tutorial, I'll scrape this Facebook group called Learn Digital Marketing. So I'll copy and paste its link, click on save. Now tell the Phantom number of members you want to scrape from each group. Facebook will allow Phantom to safely extract up to four to 5,000 members. Note, Phantom will not be able to pick up from where it left off in the middle of a group member list between launches. So you should extract up to 4,000 to 5,000 members of one group all in one launch to get as many as possible. For now, I'll put 500 here. I leave the number of groups to process per launch as empty as I'm only scraping one group. If you're scraping multiple groups via a Google Sheet, I'll suggest you put one here so you can scrape one group per launch so you don't raise any suspicion. Click on save. Since I'm scraping just one group, I'll launch it manually. But if you're scraping multiple groups, then choose repeatedly once per day. Under notifications, I'll select none, but if you're scraping repeatedly, it's a good practice to select in case of errors. Now from the top right settings icon, select show advanced settings. Scroll down to the proxy settings, click on random proxy from pool. Click on the drop down and you'll see all the three proxies that we created. Since I've logged in with my first Facebook account, I'll select FP proxy one. Click on save and let's launch the phantom. The job is completed. Click on the eye icon to preview the data. It looks good. 
To check if Phantom Buster has used the proxy, head over to the traffic usage tab in the Smart Proxy dashboard. Like I can see requests coming in. You can also see the top three websites that consume the most amount of data under the welcome tab. Now let's move towards our next step. Send automated messages to the Facebook group members we just scraped. Head back to Phantom Buster. From the top menu, hover over Phantoms and click on all categories. Click on Facebook and you'll see the Facebook message sender Phantom. Click on use this Phantom. Let's configure it. Click on connect with Facebook. Make sure you're logged in with your first Facebook account and have the Phantom Buster browser extension installed. Click on save. Under profiles to message options, select my phantoms. From the drop down, select the phantom used for scraping the Facebook groups. So we are chaining these phantoms together. The output of that phantom will be used as the input for this phantom. The next task is to draft your message. There is so much to cover here. I can probably make another video on outreach strategy, but let me just give you a few quick tips. The messages must grab attention, right? It is best to personalize your message so that it's shocking for them to believe it. Use this tool called Hyperize for hyper personalization. It can enable you to insert their personalized images with names and more in messages and on the landing page. Check out this video where I show you how to hyper personalize your messages and landing pages. Use the Facebook profile scraper phantom to enrich your data further and then use the placeholder tags to personalize your message. It must seem as if the message was created specifically for them. For now, I'll just send them a hi followed by their first name. I'll copy the column heading first name from the input sheet. Remember, placeholders are case sensitive, so it's best to just copy paste them. Under spreadsheet settings, make sure the name of the column containing profile URL is correct. Hit save. Type three under profiles to message per launch. Phantom Buster recommends you process a maximum of three profiles per hour. If you bypass this by too much, you will have to update your session cookie more often. You should always spread your actions across several launches spaced throughout the day during daytime hours wherever possible. Hit save. Under launch settings, select repeatedly. From the drop down, select once per working hour, nine to five. Under notifications, choose in case of errors. From the top right settings icon, click on show advanced settings. Scroll down to proxies. Select random proxy from pool and I'll choose the FP proxy one. Hit save. Now let's launch this phantom. And you can see it has started working. It's done now. To confirm, check if messages are going out from the Facebook account, like I can see here. To scale this, use more Facebook accounts with dedicated proxies. It's recommended a single Facebook account should send three messages in working hours. So in one day, you'll send around 24 messages per account. That'll be all for this video. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. I create such videos on regular basis. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on my latest hacks. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.